Hey everybody, it's me Arlene, Delicious Delights. So today I'll be doing a little sit down chit chat video with you guys. It's been a while since I've done one of these videos. So I'll be answering a question that was in my comments a while back. I don't remember which video it was, but someone asked me if I would ever stop buying perfumes. And the quick answer is probably not. <laughs> this perfume thing is something that I love so much. I love owning many perfumes. I love discovering new perfumes. I love testing stuff. I love making videos. I love interacting with all of you as well. Everything about this hobby brings me joy. And so I don't see myself stopping uh, with buying perfumes. Um, I may do some declutters from time to time. I did one major one recently when I was in Canada. Uh, but yeah, I, I just really enjoy this and it really makes me happy. So I don't see why I would stop doing something that makes me happy. <laughs> so long as I keep things under control and don't really go too overboard with things so the answer is no probably not i won't be uh, stopping to buy perfumes but i have noticed that i have slowed down a lot with buying perfumes and this wasn't really on purpose it just happened kind of naturally so there are two main reasons why i have slowed down with buying perfumes uh, one of the main, main reasons, sorry, is because this hobby is very, very expensive. I have noticed, especially in the past few years, that the prices of fragrances have gone up and up and up. Uh, designer scents in, let's say, around even five years ago, for me, I always... Uh, felt that designer scents were cheaper than niche scents. But now in 2024, I have noticed the prices of designer perfumes starting to catch up to the niche prices. <laughs> I guess they figured out that people are willing to spend uh, niche prices on perfumes. And of course, the designer houses also want to make more money. So they are... Well, yeah, they are starting to creep up to niche prices where at some point they're going to be equal. Uh, maybe even at some point designer prices will be even more expensive than niche prices. Who knows? But yeah, it's just a very expensive hobby. And um, yeah, it's it's just insane. I just notice perfumes that, for example, uh, 30 mils of a perfume maybe five six seven years ago uh, when it's already on discount i would expect to spend around 50 to 60 euros on a 30 mil of a designer scent nowadays i have seen uh, that same company or designer house uh, sell perfumes already discounted for around 70 or 80 euros and it's across the board with all of the of the designer scents just things are so much money and it's harder to spend that amount on perfumes um, the higher and higher it gets I mean I would rather save that money and put it towards like a vacation or something else that I would like to own or the mortgage, for example. There's just other things you can do, <laughs> of course. Um, but yeah, I think just for 30 mil for 80 euros, that's just insane. And again, that's already with a discount off because um, the stores here do some sales like 20 or 25% off very often. So I would never or I try to avoid paying the full retail price on perfumes uh, for designer scents. So yeah, I have, I have also noticed that the prices of Middle Eastern scents have gone up as well. Um, maybe around five, six, seven years ago, I would expect to spend around 20, 25 euros for a Middle Eastern scent. Uh, but nowadays in 2024, I have noticed they have risen to almost double 40, 45, 50 euros 
for a Middle Eastern scent, which is most likely, men, most of the time, a dupe of another scent. So yeah, it doesn't feel like Middle Eastern scents are cheapies anymore, um, where I can just, you know, blind buy many Middle Eastern scents because it's like 20 euros. Now, I don't feel like I can do that comfortably. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it, with cheapies, I think of it being around 20 to 30 euros around there in that ballpark. But when it gets to 50 euros, it's not really a cheapie to me anymore, at least. So I don't see this thing of prices rising. I don't see this trend uh, stopping anytime soon. I just have this feeling that it's just going to go higher and higher and higher. And um yeah, at some point, is it really worth it to spend that much money on a perfume rather than spending that money on other things? So that's one of the main reasons why I have stopped uh, buying or slowed down with buying perfumes because it's expensive and I would like to put that money to other things. Um, now, another major reason why I have slowed down is because I have noticed with trying new perfumes, new flankers, um, that whenever I try something new, it reminds me of something that I already own. <laughs> and so like how many flankers do I need, for example, of a certain collection? Uh, a lot of times when I smell new flankers of perfumes, are they that much different to the original? Well, of course, you know, if you really analyze it and look into it uh, and pay close, close attention, you can smell some differences, of course. Um, but a lot of the time you will smell the original DNA in uh, one of the other perfumes when they're, they're all kind of similar. They're different, but similar at the same time. Even though I love flankers, a lot of the flankers, and I own fragrances with the original one in the collection and also a few flankers, but at some point, um, I feel like I don't really need any more. <laughs> so that's another reason why I have slowed down. So I have some examples here. Let's see here. This is one of my most favorite designer scents of all time. Um, this is Dolce Gabbana Light Blue, the original Eau de Toilette. I still love it. <laughs> this is a staple in my collection. Now, there are so many flankers of this, um, beautiful flankers. Uh, one of my favorites is Love is Love. I like the Light Blue Forever as well. Those are probably my favorites. And also the Italian Zest. I've gone through a big bottle of that. But... In all of the scents, you do smell the original in it. <laughs> and so, yeah, it's still one of my favorite collections and I still like to own the flankers, but um, after owning like five of them or even more, I'm not sure if I need any more flankers of light blue from Dolce Gabbana. Same thing goes for Black Opium. I have the original one here. The, the original one is not my favorite version of Black Opium. Uh, my favorite is the Extreme version and then probably the Neon version. But um, again, in this collection, you do smell a connection between all of them. And they are very, very cute, <laughs> cute to collect. So that's a Black Opium. Same thing with La Vie et Belle. I have uh, a travel size of the Rose Extraordinaire. I love this version, you guys. <laughs> I like this version a lot more than the original. Uh, the original one is probably my least favorite of all of the flankers in the collection. Um, but Rose Extraordinaire I really like. And I do find similarities between this one and the uh, original one and also some other flankers. So at some point it kind of feels like they blend into each other and everything starts feeling like... This, they're the same scent, kind of. <laughs> it also, um, sorry, with notes. One of my favorite notes is Tonka. I think I've already found my Holy Grail Tonka scent in this one here. This is Tonka Imperial from Guerlain. 
Um, I own some other Tonka scents that I really love as well. Uh, but this is my absolute favorite. And after owning maybe, I don't know, maybe eight or maybe even 10 Tonka scents already, any other Tonka scent that I will smell <laughs> in the future probably won't be as good as the ones that I already own. So another example is vanilla. Vanilla is one of my most favorite notes of all time. Uh, my favorite vanilla scent is Spiritus Double Vanille from Guerlain as well. And everything that I smell when it comes to vanilla is, isn't as good as the Spiritus Double Vanille. Uh, but then again, I still keep on buying vanilla perfumes. <laughs> Go figure, right? Um, same with orange. We have Atelier Cologne Orange Sanguine. Orange Sanguine. Uh, my favorite orange scent of all time. It's also one of my favorite notes. I already own several orange scents, but uh, I doubt I'll find anything better than this one. So yeah, that's that's another reason why I slow down with buying perfumes. It just discovering new perfumes uh, they always remind me of something else that i already own even though it's not exactly the same they kind of have the same feeling the same vibe kind of thing and then it feels like it's just a lot of uh, owning a lot of redundant perfumes i don't really need to own i don't really need to own things that are similar to what i already own that's what i mean to say uh, so another thing that i wanted to mention is that my favorite part of this hobby is sampling perfumes. And of course, if you go to the store, go to the city, to the department store or a perfumery, it's free to test scents. That is my favorite part of this hobby. And so, you know, I get to stimulate my nose, to entertain my nose, have fun with scents, and I don't have to spend a lot of money. So, or any money actually, you just go there and sniff. But sometimes that can get a little bit weird when you have an essay there who is kind of looking at you <laughs> or being a little bit too, like they're too eager to help me. Like I know that that's their job, but sometimes I feel uncomfortable when they're just standing there um, watching me or asking me if I need help or they're suggesting stuff. I just feel like I want to be left alone when it comes to sampling. So um, in the store, maybe that's just me. I don't know. But uh, yeah, that's another thing I wanted to mention that if you know, you can still have a lot of fun with this hobby if you just go to the store and sample. I also buy samples as well online so that I can uh, you know, sample on my own time without anyone breathing down my neck. <laughs> but yeah, that's just something I also wanted to mention. Sampling um, is so much fun and, uh, and free when you are in a store. So that was my little chit chat video for today. I would love to hear your opinions on this topic. Have you slowed down with buying perfumes. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I really appreciate it and I'll see you guys very soon in the next video. Take care guys. Bye-bye.